Hey you guys, Erin here at Eat, Move, Rest, and welcome back, or if it's your first time to our channel, then welcome. So lately we have been compiling a lot of our user-generated requests for videos lately, especially if you have young kiddos. I know a lot of you mama bears have reached out to me, whether it be in the YouTube comments or Instagram DMs, asking me, but where do I get calcium for my kids? Are you sure that I'm getting enough protein now that I'm in perimenopause? And so on and so forth. So we're gonna dive right into the macros, the micros, the phytos, all the nutrients, and let you know the best plant-powered sources to obtain them from. If you like videos like this and you wanna see more plant-powered nutrition, Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the Eat, Move, Rest fam. Check out our seven day health transformation video guide and get 75% off our yearly membership. All of the above is linked below in the description for you guys. And I should also mention at the end of this video, stay tuned because we will be discussing our choice for supplements just to play it safe in case you are wanting a good quality supplement for yourself and or your kids. So first, let's break it down. We have our macronutrients, which are what our calories are comprised of. We've got our proteins, our fats, and our carbohydrates. When you break it down further, we have our micronutrients. Those are going to be our vitamins and our minerals. And then the phytonutrients are things like antioxidants. We get asked a lot if we track our macros. I know this is very big in the fitness community, but the simple answer is no, we do not. By simply eating a variety and an abundance of different plant foods, we are guaranteed to get enough of the proteins, carbs, and fats that our bodies need. But if you are going to really get hyper-focused on seeing results in the gym, you might want to focus a little bit more on the protein, for example. So our favorite plant-powered sources of protein would be organic whole soybeans, tofu, and tempeh. These are ridiculously protein-rich. We also use organic soy milk, and we also really love lentils and beans. And you would actually be surprised that there is quite a bit of protein in greens, which we add generously to our green smoothies, green juices, and salads galore. In fact, all fruits and vegetables contain protein. While it may be a much smaller amount than a piece of tofu or tempeh, if you add up all of these varieties you're eating throughout the day, you would be shocked at how much protein you're actually eating. And I'm not going to be one of those vegans that tells you protein does not matter. The recommended daily amount is far lower than you might think, but it is still important to make sure that you're getting enough for the building blocks of your entire body, hair, skin, nails, muscles, everything. So make sure that you're getting plenty of those beans, grains, legumes, and so on. That being said, if you were to search the body's preferred fuel source, you would actually find that it is glycogen, which equates to carbohydrates. It's not only going to fuel our bodies and give us energy for physical activity, it also feeds our brain. So if you've ever been hangry, you're probably undercarbed. The good news is most plant foods are carbohydrate dominant. So our favorite sources are first and foremost fruits. We eat every single fruit under the sun, every color of the rainbow. A lot of people think fruit equals high in sugar, equals blood sugar spikes, equals weight gain, excess calories. I myself used to be in that boat until I finally decided to cut the crud and incorporate more fruit into my diet and my digestion improved, my energy improved, my mood improved, skin, and I felt good. I no longer had a sweet tooth and cravings for candy that I had hiding all throughout the cupboards. So I switched to fruit and I no longer felt deprived. So other carbs that we love would be sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, probably other foods that you've also been told will make you fat. These are all complex carbohydrates with their fiber and other beneficial nutrients intact. So when it comes to simple carbs, things like candy, and baked goods, these are actually going to cause you those blood, blood sugar spikes and they are essentially empty calories. So instead, if you are craving pasta or bread, always opt for whole grain as the first ingredient on the list. While there's nothing wrong with an organic whole wheat pasta, we actually opt for chickpea or lentil or brown rice blends of pasta, mostly because they are actually extremely high in not just fiber, but 
protein and sometimes iron as well. That's something that they have a leg up on wheat pastas. So especially if you're gluten-free, these are fantastic options as well. And for bread, we really love organic Ezekiel bread. We also like to find a good whole grain sourdough. And our third macro, fats. Our favorite sources are nuts and seeds, avocados, and I guess coconuts are technically a nut as well. We really, really prioritize the fats that are high in omega-3s because in the standard Western or standard American diet, most of us are consuming far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. So in order to balance that ratio out, we need to boost our omega-3s and diminish the amount of omega-6s from our diet. Omega-6s are gonna be mostly found in processed packaged foods and oils. So instead, let's focus on things like flax and chia. Those are going to be your best plant-based sources of omega-3s. In order to gain the most benefit, they need to be ground or blended or broken in order to get the omega-3 benefit. The best route is to buy the whole flax or chia seed and grind it yourself because when you buy them already ground, they oxidize very rapidly, which again is going to diminish their quality and nutrient density. So make sure to grind them and grind them yourself. Our favorite nut for omega-3s are walnuts. We also really love almonds, which I can touch on for another beneficial nutrient in a moment. And finally, we really love avocados. We mash and whip them and add them onto our salads and Buddha bowls. And from time to time, we also will do coconut. So we really love to buy organic coconut cream and we buy the kind that doesn't have any preservatives or fillers in it. It's out there, you just have to do a little bit of label reading to find the right kind. Another surprising omega-3 rich food is soy. So going back to the tofu, the tempeh, the edamame, a great source of omega-3s as well. And something to note about avocados and coconuts is they are higher in saturated fat, which you might want to watch if you are trying to be extra heart healthy and cautious about cholesterol. And of the three macros, fats are the most calorically dense, as I mentioned. That's why we choose to incorporate whole fats instead of oils because they're going to contain more volume, making you feel fuller longer. So we always say, eat the olive instead of the olive oil, eat the avocado instead of the avocado oil. If you imagine it visually, one tablespoon of avocado oil equates to about 100 calories, or you could eat half of a whipped up avocado and get about the same amount of calories. So you do the math there. When you eat the whole food, you're getting better assimilation, absorption, more fiber, more water, everything that your body needs to actually thrive. So vitamins and minerals are micronutrients. I would say of top concern is iron, but you might be surprised that it is no more common in vegans and vegetarians than it is in meat eaters. So anemia or iron deficiency is pretty common across the board, regardless of diet. Part of that might be that our soils are depleted, we're having absorption issues, but if you're really wanting to focus in on plant sources, our top pick would be lentils. There are so many varieties of lentils and they are very versatile in and of themselves. We love to put red lentils in our soups and stews, green lentils to make more of a meatier consistency for things like tacos and pastas. We also love organic soy products, tofu, tempeh, soybeans, and organic soy milk. And then of course, beans and whole grains and legumes. And another surprising source is dried fruit. One of our favorites is dried black mulberries. We find them on Amazon and a serving is about a quarter cup and it contains about 20% of your daily recommended intake of iron. Another great source is blackstrap molasses. If you couple vitamin C rich foods with iron rich foods, it actually optimizes your iron absorption. So that might look like making a red lentil stew and adding in a bell pepper or you could squeeze a generous helping of lemon onto your leafy green salad, which greens are high in iron as well. It could also be making a blended smoothie with both iron-rich and vitamin C-rich foods incorporated. Lastly, if you are consuming coffee or caffeine, make sure to do it in between meals and not while your food is digesting because that can also inhibit absorption. Another favorite secret source of iron that we incorporate into our daily green smoothies is spirulina. Similar to the interplay between iron and vitamin C rich foods, vitamin D will help aid in calcium's absorption. So make sure that you're getting enough sunlight 
and supplementing during those times of the year where you're maybe not getting enough sunlight. So some calcium rich favorites of ours are broccoli and other cruciferous veggies. And on that note, if you are sprouting and or steaming certain foods, they will reduce the oxalates, the phytates, and help with the absorption of that calcium. Some other favorites are organic soy products like tofu and soybeans. You're seeing a trend here. As long as you aren't totally afraid of soy, it is almost one of the perfect foods for plant-based eaters. Other great calcium sources are beans, sweet potatoes, sesame seeds, and tahini. And again, dried fruit. Dried figs are a great source. Another important nutrient that I got asked a lot about, especially when I became pregnant, is choline. Most people are led to believe that the only source we can get adequate amounts from is eggs. But the National Institute of Health here actually states that certain vegetables and beans are a rich source of choline with grains, nuts, and seeds being reliable sources in general. In fact, soybeans have more choline than beef and chicken and potatoes and most beans have more than dairy products or even tuna. So even the experts vouch that you can get enough choline from plant sources. Folate is another one that I get asked about a lot, especially from pregnant mamas. So our main source that we focus on is dark leafy greens. We're blending green smoothies. We're eating green salads and we are steaming our greens on top of our soups and stews at dinner. We do try our best to get greens into our diet almost at every meal, at least two times a day. Other sources would be asparagus, avocados, quinoa, oranges. Two simple places to get two other critical nutrients, selenium and iodine. These are very important minerals, especially for our metabolism and thyroid health. We get selenium from Brazil nuts. Eating just one Brazil nut a day will give you all that you need and then some. So usually I'll just blend them into our green smoothies. Sometimes we'll munch on them. And then iodine, see vegetables like dulse. We find organic dulse flakes. You can also find long strips of it that you can actually cook in with your beans, which actually helps them to be more digestible. It's going to provide helpful iodine for you. Or what I like to do again is just take the dulse flakes and blend them into a tropical green smoothie and you can't taste them at all. Another option also is I will sometimes dust them on top of my rainbow salads. A couple of important vitamins, vitamin C first and foremost, especially for supporting collagen production and supporting your immune system. So our top favorites are any of the citrus fruits. We love to keep oranges and cuties on hand, especially when they're in season during the winter time. Lemons, limes on top of salads, strawberries, broccoli, and kiwi actually has more vitamin C than an orange. So those are probably our top picks there. Bell peppers are another great one that we incorporate every single day. Vitamin A. Vitamin A and E are a little bit different than C because C is water soluble. Vitamin A and E are fat soluble, meaning they absorb with the help of fat. Just in case you guys are wondering why I keep moving forward, it's because I'm moving towards the sunlight in the windows because it is pouring rain and it keeps getting darker and darker in here. The kids are outside splashing in the rain and I'm doing my best. Vitamin A, I always think orange and yellow foods. Carrots and sweet potatoes come to mind first. So the important thing is that animals contain a preformed vitamin A or retinol, whereas plant foods contain carotenoids, which get converted in the body. So make sure to get plenty of your orange and yellow foods. Squash, mangoes, and cantaloupes are also high, and spinach and kale as well. For our other fat-soluble friend, vitamin E, we like to consume nuts and seeds, especially sunflower seeds and almonds. It can also be found in peanuts and peanut butter, avocados, and some other various fruits and vegetables in lower amounts. Two of our most favorite recipes to incorporate are our green smoothies, which are ridiculously hyper nourishing. They contain so many of these vitamins and minerals, and even more so is our plant powered taco bowls, or you could call them Buddha bowls or Chipotle bowls, because we pile it on. We get our dark leafy greens, our brown rice, our black beans, tons of colorful veggies, and avocado for healthy fats, they literally have everything that we just mentioned. Also in our taco bowls, we make a super good protein packed taco meat, which includes lentils, quinoa, tofu, 
onions, mushrooms and garlic. It is so protein rich, iron rich. It's got zinc in there. Zinc can be found in lentils, pumpkin seeds, tofu, and chickpeas. Those would definitely be our most consumed sources. And magnesium, our two favorite sources are hemp seeds and dark chocolate or cacao. So if you wanna find recipes like this, be sure to check out our yearly membership. You can get it for 75% off for life. So that's a recurring yearly discount. It comes with so much more besides our app as well, like our thriving community for that accountability piece. We meet on a weekly basis on Zoom and we do all kinds of fun challenges throughout each month. So if you are curious about what supplements we take and recommend, kids supplements are linked on our Amazon store below. Our absolute favorite for adults is the Complement Essential, which as the name states, it's designed to complement your already robust plant-based diet with just the eight critical nutrients that vegans or plant-based eaters might want to make sure that they're getting enough of and nothing more. So many multis are causing us to spend extra money for expensive neon pee. Instead, check out Compliment. It's linked below along with a special discount just for our Eat, Move, Rest fam to give you 15% off. And when you join our membership, you'll get an even bigger discount on Compliment. We also love their daily greens powder for adding into smoothies or just your water bottle and gut nurture, which is so helpful for digestion. Dusty uses their creatine for gains in the gym and they also have an omega complex but definitely check them out and for sure at least grab the essential all right you guys that wraps it up if you liked this nutrition video give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and join the eat move rest fam click that bell to turn on your notifications leave us some love in the comments below and we will see you over on instagram be sure to ask us your questions over there in dms we love connecting with you guys better yet join our membership so we can connect face to face on a weekly basis. Okay, you guys, we are trying something brand new. We want your epic recipes. We would love to have our Eat, Move, Rest fam contribute your favorite whole food, plant-based, oil-free recipes for a chance to be featured in our meal planner and recipe app. We would love to highlight your work and give you credit, maybe draw some traffic into your social media or your blog, and even feature you on our YouTube channel. If you're interested in contributing, all you have to do is email info at eatmoverest.com with your recipe, a photo, your name and your preferred social media handle. We cannot wait to see what you guys cook up because so many of you have already shared awesome recipes with us in our Instagram DMs and we cannot wait to see them populate in our meal planner and recipe app for everybody else to enjoy as well.